guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing an empties video. I don't have too many things, but I just kind of wanted to get these things out of the space and declutter. They've been hanging in a bag on the back of my um, door for a while now, and I just wanted to get it over with <laughs> and get it done. Um, so I will be showing you guys what I have. I do have a lot of body washes. Obviously I go through body washes quick. Well, not quick. Not really quick, but enough that I have a couple to speak about, and um, I just wanted to show you guys what I've been using for the past little bit, and maybe you guys can tell me what you've been using. I have very dry skin, especially during, well, I'll, uh, wait, let me rephrase that. I have dry skin during winter, like super dry skin. During summer, I'm pretty okay, um, but I love to use... Uh, shower gels that are moisturizing and when I get out of the shower I don't feel like itchy like because my skin is getting tighter from stripping it of all of its oils um, so I'll show you guys what I've been using um, and like you guys know I go to the gym every day work out really hard and I like to have a shower gel or scents that will relax me so I did purchase the St. Ives Even and Bright Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange Body Wash I really really did enjoy this after coming back um, oh, it smells so good uh, after coming back from the gym. This actually helped to put a pep in my set. Maybe it was more mental than anything, but I really did enjoy this. Um, so it's funny. I have a scent for like morning time when I take showers, after I come back from the gym, and then one for nighttime. So this is actually the scent that I would use either in the morning or after um, I come back from the gym. I take around three showers a day. I know you guys are probably like, what? That's crazy, but I get up, before I go to the gym, I take a shower. After I come back from the gym, I take a shower. And before I lay down in my bed, I take a shower. So three showers a day, what can I say? That's just how I roll. <laughs> um, the next one that I really enjoyed was Dr. Teal's Ultra Moisturizing Body Wash. It's Relief from Relax with Eucalyptus and Spearmint. And I remember this line because I purchased some Epsom salt from them. Um, when I was down in Florida, I remember I used this years ago when I had to do, um, when I had to soak in the bath with Epsom salt from like body aches, from running and all that stuff. But I really did like this. This helps soothe your, soothe your skin and relax the body. This is something I would use either when I came back from the gym or right before I was going to sleep. Um, I have a really t hard time, um, not falling asleep, but staying asleep, and I noticed kind of, I don't know if it's a mental thing, but this did help me fall asleep a little faster, stay asleep a little longer, and all that stuff. But um, I really like anything that's going to help my muscles after I come back from the gym. So I really did like this. This was a very nice, pretty scent. If you guys know what the candle from Bath & Body smells like, eucalyptus mint, this is pretty much what this um, shower gel smells like. And... I love, I literally love it and I have to go get more, but it seems like every time I'm at Walmart, they don't have it anymore, so next time when I do find it, I'll just have to purchase a bunch of them. Um, let me show you, I have uh, three more um, shower gels. I have one from Tree Hut. This is Shea Moisturizing Body Wash Tropical Mango. I purchased this one, a coconut and lime one, and then the matching lotions. I'm still using up the lotion on this, but I really did like the shower gel. The foam, it foamed up right away for me. I really, really appreciate that about a uh, shower gel. This is something that I would use in the morning. Um, just because of the fragrance, I felt like it kind of gave me a little pep in my step. It smelled super good. Um, and I like that it was moisturizing. It had vitamin, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's A, C, and E in here, and shea butter, and you know, that's good for your skin. And this company is also cruelty free, which I give them a, oh, I love it, a huge thumbs up for. Um, but if you guys know this company or know any other things from this company that I should try out, please let me know because I really, I really did enjoy them and they it lasted a long time in the shower. Um, my next items are from Seabooth. You guys know I love Seabooth. I, I, I think I talk about them in almost every monthly video that, of my favorites and all that stuff. But Seabooth, I purchased these at Ulta. They also was having a sale and these things were on sale for like half off the original price. So I think I ended up picking this up for like $3, the walnut um, shell body scrubbing cleanser and the triple action rosemary mint bath, shower, and hair wash. I enjoyed bo both of these. My husband really liked the um, body scrub because um, it's a little it's it's a little more gritty, I guess you could say, than most. So I really did enjoy this and he really did enjoy this. So this is a good thing. I purchased, I think, a like 
three or four of these. So I think I have one backup and one more is in my shower. And um, the Triple Action Rosemary Mint. I really like this as a shower gel. This one I would use after I came back from the gym because it was a little more relaxing. Um, and it made me kind of feel like fresh and tingly, I guess you could say. <laughs> but I really did enjoy this and I will be repurchasing in this again. Like, like you guys know, I love to buy my stuff on sale so I can get like two for the price of one type of thing. So I always am stalking like Ulta's website to make sure that I can get those things on a sale. I like to buy things on sale if I can ever get it on sale. So um, that is that for body washes. Let me show you... This, this is from The Body Shop. This is the Shea Body Mist. <laughs> Let me tell you, I love this stuff. Like, I use, there's probably nothing else to spray. Oh, 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 oh. It smells so good. It is a nice balance of like, fresh smelling and a musky scent and kind of smells like man but not overly man you still smell like a woman it just smells so good to me I love this fragrance and I will be purchasing this again I purchased this like I said about my other products on sale this was on sale Bath and uh, I'm sorry Bath and Body Works it's on sale at the body shop and when I purchased it I think it was like seven dollars so I want to say it was about half off and I really enjoyed this fragrance and I really enjoyed the white musk scent from um, the body shop I will be repurchasing this over and over and over again. The lotion's also really good too, but I love the fragrance. And it, and this lasts a really long time and it, I mean, if you're anything like me, I'll spray my whole body, my body, my clothes, like everything. But this lasted a really long time and the fragrance lasted throughout the day. I will move on to makeup items. I only have two empties, which is really weird. I guess I'm moving slow or something through my stuff. But the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara, I really like this and I will be repurchasing this again. I love to use this before I apply my false lashes. My lashes already are pretty curly and pretty long, but I like for them to be even longer. So this did help the, to make that illusion um, happen for me. So I really did like this. I want to say this mascara was maybe $2. Um, Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild. And my last makeup thing, or the second makeup thing, is the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation. This is a stick, and mine is all done, as you can see. I use color 355. I purchased this down when I was in Florida. I was a little darker then. So right now, if I use it, I think it would be a little dark, but it would probably match my neck. Maybe. I don't know because it's empty. But I really did like this. Um, like I said, I was the color 355 Coconut. I love the application. It went on smooth. It didn't. It kind of looked like your skin, but better, I guess. Not, it didn't look cakey. It didn't look too heavy. It didn't look... It just was really, really nice. I really like this product. And I could recommend it um, to those that are in the market for a foundation stick. This is pretty good. Actually, really good. And I won't bore you too much. I know I've been talking really fast, but I just want to kind of get through this. So you guys kind of get a gist of the items that I use for the entire month. My last thing was a hair um, treatment. It's a texture treatment from Apogee, and it's the Curlific Texture Treatment. This helped with regaining my curls. As you guys know, I was in Florida for about four months, and the water is a lot different than it is here, um, or in New York. And um, when I was down there, I didn't have all the things that I needed, but I used this and it just helped my hair feel so much better. It wasn't as dry. The curls looked a lot prettier. Um, I would mix this with like an oil to ha help my hair stay hydrated. You could leave this in your hair. I think it says for a minute. I was leaving it on for about 10 minutes um, just to help the curls recoil and recurl themselves and look that much healthier. But I do recommend this. I bought this at Sally's. I want to say it was about $9 with the Sally's Beauty Card. And I really, really like it. And the smell. I love the smell. I don't know. If you guys love like a musky man scent this is what it smells like and if you like that you'd like this on your hair I mean yeah I love it let me say that and the last thing that I used from the month or my empties is a candle called tailgate from Bath and Body Works I already burned the candle out and I put um, some coconut oil in here so don't look at that but tailgate was a red candle on the inside and it smelled so good it smelled like 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 fall I guess you could say smelled so good. I want to say a similar candle to Tailgate would be Leaves. 
if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I, I burn the heck out of this candle, obviously. It's, it's all the way done. Um, but you guys know me. I love candles. I love Bath & Body Works candles. And... I just can't say enough good things about them. I always get my stuff with coupons. <laughs> um, so that makes like a $22 candle like 8 bucks or something. So that is not too bad. Hopefully this video helped you guys with the empties. If you guys have an empty um, video, I'd like to see it. I love to watch empties videos. I don't know why. It's like looking at somebody dig through their trash, I guess, and getting more of a sense for them and what they like to use. <laughs> um... And if you guys have any requests for any videos, please let me know. I know I'm going to be trying to do a couple more video tag, tag videos with um, my husband and my sister. And I have more makeup videos coming. I want to do some um, fashion stuff for you guys. It's just, i got to figure out how to record it by myself. It's so hard. The camera doesn't all... I, problems. But <laughs> um, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully all is well with you. And I shall see you in the next one. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.